Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Cast Redux. I'm your host, Mr. People's Kingdom of Ukraine lover. And right now, we're doing autocephaly for the faithful. The patriarch of our faith has always been controlled by Russian strings, always utilized by those outside politicians seeking to make our people identical to theirs, no longer. Shall we follow this prophet on strings? We'll create the Ukrainian autocephalosis orthodoxy church, we will, which will ensure we have our own secure faith. I believe I've actually done uh, something else as well as around here as well. I can't really remember. Um, of course, we've done uh, clear out the marshes, of course, you know. Stop, Georgian, what's that sound? You hear it too, up north in the Ruthenian marshes. I hear the stomp of German clad boots, the Barbara songs, and flying colors of those imperialists. Come on, we shall cut the rain short. If I've missed any one of these focuses and forgot to read them, please let me know in the comments below. But, we can still distribute our new wealth or new taxes. I could use better, more consumer goods. Uh, we could try, why not? We must use our own resources and raise taxes. Since there's no other way to get investments for the program or the electrification of the villages in central Ukraine. We hope that our peasants will understand this, of course. Oh, look at that! Great! Taxes for the industrialization? Electricity is available all over central Ukraine. Now it's time to rebuild an industry in the eastern part of the country. All the factories built by the Tsarist government should be modernized as fast as possible, and that's why we have to raise taxes again. And then revive agriculture? Or new recruitment? New resources, I mean. Aluminum. Do we need aluminum? We need tungsten, actually. Let's go with that one. Our government has finally been able to electrify all the villages in central Ukraine. As a result, our peasants will be able to produce more agricultural goods and supplies. Now we also need more resources to fuel our nation's recovery and create the tools to do it. So, as you can tell, we're at war with Belarus right now. Um, when I did finish off the war with Romania, and as many of you guys did point out, I, the, I just didn't reconnect the rail lines. I, mentally, I just was not here apparently in the last episode, and that's why we we're struggling so much. I was trying to get Galats or Galati. Really badly, but I could have just went over here to Iasi, so that was my fault. Um, as you can tell, we actually made quite an encirclement here. Uh, we lost about 1,400. We killed about 10,000. But as we let this go slowly, uh, we've got some other comments to go through, such as Monarcho Socialism. I don't know how to feel about it. It's confusing. Monarchy I like a lot. Socialism, not at all. I don't really know what to think. Ha! Huh. Someone says, For King, People, and Countries. Ava Ukraini. Ukraini. Ukraine good ending, says another person. And someone else says, The railway in Moldova isn't connected to your railways in Ukraine, Mr. Mocha Lover. And that's why we didn't do so well last time. Also, we had only one factor in guns. We have a pretty meh division template. No supplies, because I didn't link up the rail networks. And because you took a meh doctrine, too. So if that's a meh doctrine, what doctrine do you guys recommend? Because I'm open to, you know, what you guys think is the best. What you guys know is the best. So that's what I'm always kind of interested in uh, um, hearing and reading about. But, revival of agriculture. Our main aim was to turn Ukraine into the breadbasket of Europe and an indispensable partner to Germany and the Reichspact. On the contrary, it became even more dependent on German goods after Black Monday, and our trade deficit widened significantly. Now we must reconstruct our national agricultural market using our industry and new agricultural tools to end the sorry state of affairs. But seriously, like, if there's a better doctrine, like, is this still superior firepower? Let me know. I'll, I'm open to uh, changes, if needed. Someone says, well, this is a coincidence, of course. Mladorosi moment, says someone else. Cursed, ti cursed or timing? Yes, says Levan Van, yes. And Slava Ukraini. Says someone else as well. Cool. But let's continue after we, of course, do the agriculture and get some new resources, all that good stuff. Oh, we, we beat them up. Exactly as God intended. Or I guess as a king intended, maybe. Hmm. Um, anything here? Infantry expert? I don't want to wait for that one. Maybe we'll see you. It's not bad. Anything over here? Army offense is not bad. At skill level 6, it gets 10%. 8, 15%. I think we already have an offensive guy, don't we? Here, I don't care. Do it anyways. Well, if you want, well, might be a bit too late. Do that. Oh, and you're in circle, and you died. Hey, thanks, thanks for the capital. But I did make Romania a puppet of us, so very nice. So, and these guys are actually that's a nice flag, Barbo Lazareneo. Very cool. Square's industry happy in 1939, everybody. Uh, stuff is all okay. Um, let's see, 40s. Plain stuff is looking okay. Better anti air, of course. Better engineers would be probably really quite decent. Better white with We'll do that in just a moment. Uh, pursue splendid isolation. And then mend the ties with Russia. Well, can't quite. Can't quite do that. Um. I think we need to just spend some time and like recover. Because right now our deficit is really bad for artillery and support equipment. Guns are fine. Guns are always fine. At least for now. Um, you guys can do that. I'm more worried about that stuff. Get some, a few more motorized, get a lot more support equipment. 
Get some excavation done. Grab some something else of stuffs. Maybe some of that, maybe. How's the land is gone? Grab some new resources. You know, the good stuff. And just keep building more military factories at this point. We need way, 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 way more. So, oh, that's not good. Getting 10, 11, huh? Um, military factories, civilian factories, all that good stuff. Gabon joined the Entente. No one really cares about Gabon. How do you do global Ukraine? Oh, has completed focus. Oh, a uh, red Hetmanot. Or Hetmot. An explosion in the Dnieper. Well, I guess technically this is all the stuff we want here, too. Well, Brask, Bala, Rostov, Amati, Don, Host. I'll do this one. The lands of Halic. The still remains Ukrainians in East Galicia and Chelm. Or Chelm. They're carrying on the brave ancestry that came down from the likes of Leo of Halic. The kingdom of Galicia of Olnia is long gone. However, its greatness remains embedded within our history books. So let's try to gather. <clears throat> and these lands once more under banner. Ukrainian kings belonging in Ukraine. Polish Republic and Galicia Ludomeria. Which means we can probably take out the Dona Adriabone potentially as well. Which would be awesome. And I don't want to fight the Moscow Court by ourselves. But as long as they're not going to attack us and Istanbul fact. Ooh! Are they actually fighting Moscow? Oh yeah, they are. Oh wow. Take out these guys and then take out these guys and join the Third International. And then use the Third International to beat Russia. Not a bad idea if I do say so myself. These guys are definitely struggling down here. Everyone's struggling. But if we were to attack them right now and hit them hard, we'd, we'd probably win. Hmm... Let's finish that one first. Just keep building up the cities. Use all the factories you possibly have right now. And if you do that, that's fine as well. So, five uh, artillery pieces a day is not bad. 1.2 is not great. Yeah, we just need more military factories. We need so many more. Of course, we could go to limited exports as well. You'll we'll probably do that one too. And again, I guess it didn't help us at all over here. Well, that's my bad. Whatever. New resources, yes, please. Thank you. Limborg. Nice. Croatian Republic is gone. And that definitely helped out here a little bit, so. I suppose if we want, we can grab one rubber. A whole rubber. Please and thank you. Nice. Keep making those millies. Oh, yeah. After a short campaign across Belarus, we have managed to shatter the defenses of Minsk. What Ruthenia is now in our hands, we must decide the future of it. And you know what, for this campaign, I actually will release, like, these places, because we do get, we do have courts in these areas. Um, Baruchk, what do they have? Led by Branislaw Taraskiewicz. I cannot speak this. What urbanization, huh? Nice. Well, I never played Belarus, but someday, maybe. We'll see. So after the Lions... Probably start good to thinking about seeking allies. Although we attempt to strive for Ukraine's self sufficiency, this does not mean we should go alone in a world so cold and dangerous. Let us seek friends to stand alongside in these trying, trying times. Actually, what do you guys have to? You're just fighting a lot of people. We actually might want to strike out this way first. We've got a lot of manpower. So that actually might be the way we want to go. We'll see, though. We could change this up, but eh, I'm not going to change it up yet just because I want to make sure we get rid of our deficit first. Almost nine a day is pretty decent. That's pretty decent, honestly. That's really, really decent, actually. Go into here and take them out. Separate our lands. So it'd just be us and Hungary, and then let's try to fight the Czech Republic, maybe two. Just depends, because Austria is not doing well. Um, Vienna's a frontline city. Which, honestly, is fine with us. But we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm as well. And, nice. Very good. Guns would be nice, but we're going to need more aluminum, too. Actually, we're actually quite good on aluminum. Oh, hello. Are you guys still... Are you still fighting? You're just kind of hanging out with each other. Yeah, they're still killing each other. Nice. See some allies. Because followed up with that. Our northern brothers. No, not quite. Well, technically we are in the faction thing. Hmm. Save Malorus. 
rejuvenate Donbass factories after a long period of political turbulence. The situation in Ukraine is more or less stable and we have a good chance to continue reforms. Our long-term aim is to develop industry in the east of Ukraine. Thanks to the Tsarist regime, we just have to reopen old Donbass factories and modernize them a little bit or launch the formation of a new industrial region. Well, we got claims. The ally with Poland and... Best be watching out now. Rawa Ruska. There you go. That's what we wanted. Um, maybe? Very nice. That should capitulate him, right? Yep, I was right. Very nice job, guys. Nope. Now they can focus more on the Austrians. Very good. Primsiel? I'll probably just take all this, because without us, they would not have been able to push for this direction, so. Which is fine. Seeking allies, of course. In a cold, bitter world like this, we need as many allies as possible. Black assumption is very nice, too. And. Hmm, this one. Wow. Illyrian state looking very good. We would, we would have to do them. So go, these guys. Moscow Court. I don't want to fight the Moscow Court down there, but having allies for us as well would be very quite good. Minus four tanks in hell. Kharkov Industrial Zone. Kharkov has always been one of the main or most popular cities in Ukraine, but we have never used this advantage in our economy. Now it's perfect time to launch formation of a new industrial region in the Kharkov region and finally make our industry strong. Not bad. That's where at this point we can get this to. New Zealand crash today. Oh, Latvia's joined. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm glad we got cores here. If we can, I'll probably give Bukovina or Sukovia to them as well. That'd be fine. Come on, just take them out. If not, we gotta kill you too. And then I can take them out ourselves, so. Oh, nice. Um, overall, not bad. 680 is pretty good. Aluminum. Need way more support equipment. Also, did I edit these divisions? Yeah, I did throw in the artillery there, too. So, let's try something with now, which is really good. Um, I want to throw some recon on there and support anti air, but I don't think we've got a lot of that stuff currently. Better engineers are nice. Some of that too. Pretty good. Oh goodness! Thank God for coffee. All right. Who else can we go to war with? Poland? Yeah. Mm. Only if we join the Third International. Then that'd be a two-front war for them. And then again, we we'll go to war with Hungary. Go to here. That's a massive border we'd have with them. We should go to war with them now. We'll just take this front line here. Hmm. Oh, why not? And then stabilization. Thanks to our elaborate measures, we revived our economy and mitigated the consequences of the Black Monday for our Ukraine. We can hope that our economy will soon prove itself to be competitive throughout Europe. Our northern brothers. The Ruthenians have also brought forth the king as a helper of the people's plight. They are brothers, both in the ideological struggle naturally, so it's only right that we fit, fight together now. What brings the fourth revolution forever? One more days. Come on, guys. Can you hurry up? You guys are taking forever to kill these guys off. They even had a manpower. You guys have a lot of manpower. Oh, Vienna's a circle, though. Oh, boy. Nice. As long as Russia doesn't come knocking anytime soon, I think we'll be okay, but you never know. Oh, there we go. Yes. It's quite a bit better. Build up some of the roads, too. You get more, slightly more resources. Yeah, more fuel, more aluminum. That's really good to get. Much better. Uh, we're getting there. Oh, we're only on volunteer. Oh, that's pretty good. I'd say that's pretty darn good. Of course, then again, if we can, we can really strip Hungary down to be really weak. But then again, we would rather a stronger Romania or a stronger Hungary. Because Hungary is a kind of a big boy here. He's a huge boy.
We could maybe make it Romania a little bit more empowered. Taking some of these territory away and then giving them a lot of this territory down here as well. That might be able to work, yeah. Why not? Balance them between us. Of course, we could use our puppet's vampire as well, but still. My goodness. How far do they have to go? Where's the capital besides Vienna? Oh, it's still Vienna. Oh. Going to war with the Hung Hungarians, probably a bad idea. But stabilization? Oh, nice. Oh, with that in mind, I guess we'll do uh, review the navy. A strong fleet is vital. We are to look beyond simply beyond our own borders. A protecting our trade and coastline shall require a strong naval force. Well, this is probably a really bad idea to do. But, it's all about having fun. Three, two, one. Here we go. Will they attack us immediately? Can we actually push in at all? Surprisingly, somewhat. Somewhat. Good color allies in, but we're not going to do that just yet. So far we can push. If we can't push that far, that's fine. I just don't know how strong these fo folks are. I know there goes Malta, but then again, it's only Malta, so I'm not super concerned about them. Going to war when you don't have enough artillery pieces? Not a smart idea, of course, but, you know, whatever. So we're going to be doing well so far. And they are distracting more divisions down there, which is pretty good as well. And this game has a lot more army XP too, so. Also, this cavalry. Garrisons, of course. Cavalry's not bad. Do we have any anti-air at all? It's going surprisingly better than I thought. But the war is not yet over. If anything, it is barely started. Oh, there goes Riga. Wait. Is Riga in a faction? They're in the Reich's pack, that's what I thought, so these guys might be killing each other too. Should be a good time for us to take out the Reich's pack as well. Yep, there you go. Yep. They're still fighting these guys, which will help them out. Hmm. Make sure you're ready to go to war. Oh well. <clears throat> Where's Budapest? Oh, we're right here. We're doing a lot better than I thought we would be. My, hey, we're still improving that, still improving Sporkum as well. Orders during the Romanian Social Republic, you remember that, please go ahead. Oh, they actually are attacking. Oh, look at that. Wait, what? Why did the front line system stop? Let's see, we've lost 6,000 people. We've killed off how many people? 47. Oh, no, 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 that's not us, that's Romania. 63,000, that's uh, that's pretty good. Fortify the Odessa Harbor. Odessa was always an important trade port for Ukraine, that's why we must be ready to defend the city with our Black Sea Fleet. We should expand the harbor to Odessa. And we will. Rally public support. Struggling just a little bit here. Oh, even the Romanians want to go. Ooh. Oh, you want to give us stuff? That's fine. Yeah, maybe we'll weaken Hungary just a little bit here. Because we got to remember, we're still trying to fight the Austrians as well, so. Thank God we got logistics wizards. Go there, cut them off. Where's the capital now? Sopron? Oh, Fighter 2 is nice. Better cast, why not? Ah, Pex. Alright then. It's a lot easier than I thought it would be. Well. Alright. Not bad. We can do, yeah, we can get some companies here next. Go in if you can. Oh, we have none of Gresham Pact. Okay. Oh, okay. The independence is guaranteed by them. Alright, well, whatever. Hmm. 
Well, Austrians don't have any more manpower, so... I should eat. Oh, whoa! We just helped... 21 divisions are trapped there. Wow. Well, we're about to get another land auction done. You're gonna put a Oh. Wait, what? Huh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this, this would actually be really good for us to fight the Reich's Pact. Probably, maybe? I don't know, we'll see. I might need a field marshal soon. Line out attack. Pretty yummy. Alright, Africa's on fire, but what else is new? Supplies are going to be very bad, but like I said, what else is new? No, why did I do that one? Whatever. Close enough. Keep building that one up for now, and... Nice. Keep doing the best you can. You know, that's the capital. We can clear all the rest of these guys out, too, probably, so... At least that'll be the hope. Especially around here. Get them all off would be the main goal. Did they just cut us off from everything else? They cut us off. Oh. Now that's quite interesting to see that one happen and fire too at the same time, basically. Not quite cut off. We're close. Alright, so they cut us off, which is fine. We'll take Vienna then. This might be the perfect opportunity to take out Russia. You know, I, I want to take out the Reich's Pact, but if Russia is on this many fronts over here and over here and over here and over here. Wait, what happened to White Ruthenia? Why is this all demilitarized? Wait. General Government Minsk? Why do you have General Government Minsk? Werner Kempf? You're still a puppet, but. I'm not as uprising. Uh. Okay, then. Establish or refurbish the port of Sevastopol. When we took control over Crimea in 1918, we also got the most whole, whole Russian Black Sea Fleet. Despite that boon, without a proper renovation, the Sevastopol naval base will be unable to use it properly. If we want to strengthen our role in the Black Sea region, we must do our best to rebuild the port of Sevastopol. Makes sense to me. Alright. Uh, more attack is not bad. Division speed's okay. We have like no armor anyway, so. And over here, uh, civilian stuff. Um, I want that infrastructure building stuff too. I like that a lot. Go ahead. Everyone in. And you're not allowed to stop attacking. I wonder if we can actually break their organization or not. Oh, they're doing force defense too. Nice. It's a lot of eh? Get more soft attack. We're slowly losing winning. Fifty six, huh? Yeah, we might have to pull out just a little bit. Let them come out. Strike him again. Or just keep attacking. Relentlessly. In which, once they, their vision is organization, they die. So, they do quite a bit of organization, though, which is quite unfortunate. Nice. Better arty? Yes, please. Germany's removed from Legation Council. Very good.
Hungarian revolt. Return to Romanian lands. The Ukrainian government has been discussing what to do with the Romanian lands currently occupied, with lands which we have no right to claim to. Should we return these lands to the subjects in the Romanian Social Republic? Wow. This is really ugly now. I might use Khan's commands and move this around just a little bit. You know what? You know what? Oh, I can't use State Central Tumult. God dang, I should have not done that. That's disgusting. Especially with that one. Oh, I should have waited. Whatever. Whatever. It's a painful way to do this, but no organization means death. It's for them. Let's do it by a little bit, but still. And maybe a little more armor XP, too. More industry. Fuel and the rubber. That's smart for them to do force defense. So they stop losing an organization, but they can't really recover from this because they have no manpower. There's no point. So. Forty-seven is not bad though. Keep building, building, building. Specialist, very nice, very nice. Support. And I go with two, why not? And here's not bad, even basic light tank chassis chassis. First report. And naval power projection. Only a large fleet will suit Ukraine. As well without one, we won't be able to control the long coast of the black and Azov seas. Force it. And our power superiority. There's no greater vessel than a battleship if we develop new and powerful variants. Ukraine should become unassailable in the black and as all seas. There you go. Cracked them. Quite literally, they're going to die here. Vienna will be ours, and you know what? I'm going to at least take Vienna. Everything else is kind of a mess, so. Nice. How dare you try to attack at the same time? Rightfully ours. Alright, so let's take a look here. Geopolitically, <clears throat> we could just be us and fighting that way. Call in some puppets, use their divisions, fight and kill them that way. Reich's back to suffering, trying to fight the Third International. They'll be busy. We don't have to fight them, and we, and we fight Moscow Accord. They're actually losing to the Eastern... Oh, it looks like they are losing at least. And they've been stuck here for a long time. How badly are the Russians doing? Good amount of manpower. They haven't lost a lot much. This would be really dumb to fight them, but we could try it. It's only four divisions, but it, it should work. Three, four, not bad. I need way more arty now. Artillery, motorized too, even. Oh, wow. Go with that many guns, too. And more millies. 80%. 80%. Nice. Naval power projection. Naval superior firepower. Each ship a bulwark. Native dockyards are no doubt, and Nikolaev are more than capable of producing large ships than such cruisers. This proved promising in nearly every naval engagement. Well, everyone, we've done it, and now we're at war with the Russian Empire. Let's see how that goes. Um, in the meantime, though, there's not really much we can do except for this focus, distribute our new wealth. I don't really want to do that, but profits gained from the new Kulak tax will be distributed amongst the poor laborers in order to decrease economic division. Providing workers with a higher income will boost popularity for Khrushchev and raise the standard of living for many. Greed has polluted the nation's time for equality for all. Now, if we were to do this, that probably wouldn't be very good for our soldiers. 
But I could be very wrong. I could be incredibly wrong. Especially if we get in a circle and destroy some soldiers. Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, hello, good sirs. Fall of Lisbon. Well, uh, we're not going to do this right now. Very, very good. And we're going to go around and say goodbye, sirs. Nice job. That's only one division there. They're pretty... Pretty tired about what they're doing, but that's okay. Uh, we're also War of the... Oh, uh, maybe not War of the Lyrian State. Hello. Well, we'll see. Uh, Ottoman Empire, that's fine with us. I do want to take these guys out so we just don't have to deal with them on our border anymore, so... We'll see how far we can get. If we can't get that far, then so be it. But, you know, another front for Russians? Not bad, because they'll be struggling here. They're definitely struggling here. They even got a circle, too. My goal would be to take up all the territory, like, all the European part of Russia. So... Oh, we can actually see what they're up to. Oh, then again, do we have... We do have radar around here, so she does have quite a bit, so. And more reconnaissance for recon, more reinforced rate. Thank you very much. Uh, anything else we really want here? Not too much. We could call in our puppets. Um, I do. I definitely just want to take these guys out, though. That's all I care about. Palovich. Oh, now we're definitely struggling here. Just a wee bit. I just want to know how many... Or how much how much supply do they have? Because they got plenty of manpower. It's Russia, I would expect. Alright, anything else here? I'm calling these guys in would probably be a bad idea. Uh, definitely call the Romanians in though. That'll be fine. We're still trying to build more millies and civvies and air bases and Stuff like that, so. And at this point in the war, we should probably go start focusing more on encirclements. Because just because we take territory doesn't mean too much. Even though it's a good amount of army XP, we don't really need any more. Oh, I can't see how much we've done here, too. Darn it. Yeah, just come on in the war. Well, we've got quite a while for those guys left. And you all, well, it's taken a while. Probably well, we stop attacking nearly as much. Stupid new wealth, and then we can lower you know, some things here. Naval production, air resistance. Eh, we do the resistance target. You know, it honestly shouldn't be too bad already. So. Then again, I just don't want to do with it, so. Mm. Oh, hello. Guys, you didn't cover the line. There, just push him out. You should be. You should do fine here. Oh, hello. You do that instead. That'd be better. But you know, whatever. Go here. Not there. Darn it. Plug it up. Plug up the hole. Nice. There you go. Military, please ain't too bad. 1941. Happy 41, everybody. Let's get some more output because we could probably definitely use some more. Even though we're not looking too bad right now, actually. Um, you know, what? we're gonna call these guys in too. So let them get attacked. Let them waste the resources. Then they're attacking as well. Not bad. Not bad. Mm, oh, they're attacking us too. Very nice. Don't want to call in White Ruthenia just yet. And we're going to go out for these guys to join the war. So. Alright, all that stuff. Get down here. If you can tickle them, that'd be great. Well, but maybe. Maybe you could. Nice, that's exactly what we want to see. And the mechanized division is gone. Two million manpower, nothing there. At this point, Moss is creating an agency as well. See what happens with them. And image equipment. Make us, let us hit them harder if possible. Here, do that. Either one, really, this one would be better, but. Wow, they must have really bad supply. It must be god awful here. And we got them. Yes, yes. Another division encircled. Very good. Ah, delightful. They're still attacking over there, which is fine. You guys are really pushing out hard against them, huh? It looks like they're slowly running out of equipment, which is not bad, but. Hmm. Of course, we could use more divisions, but we're definitely making more. How are the... They're really pushing. 
We haven't gotten extremely far, but still. Even the Turks are pushing, too. These guys have got to be hurting for equipment and whatnot. Well, Beijing, this is going to be very disastrous for us, potentially, so... Well, other than that, all across the rest of the front. I mean, we got some supplies we can use up. Obviously, we're going to need way more guns in the future, so... Let's go with that, too. Uh, it's not terrible, still. Alright, so over here, Tenacious Defense. Ooh, Academy, do 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 I don't like... I really like an inventive leadership now for some reason. Not sure why, but I always liked it now. I always like it now. Dive bombing. Um. Air accidents chance goes down. Research speed. Cast research speed. Design cost. That'd be actually really good. But air accidents. I'll do air accidents. I know we don't have that. Doesn't really matter too much anymore, but still. Continue to strike, why not? Then up here, tip of the spear, ideological... Oh, oh, that's pretty good. Oh, hello. Iran's joined whatever proper heritage. We do have some cavalry as well. On core territories, that won't really matter too much. Professional army corps is not bad either. Weekly manpower, we are Ukraine. You know what, we'll do that one, why not? Ideological loyalty for monarcho-socialism. Sounds like it should just fit. It just works. Scavenger, you go scavenger, that's fine too. Oh, there we go. Now, you made us waste all that time. Hey, this wheeler tanks are going in quite quickly, though. That's pretty nice. You just race to the sea. Let's go this way. Don't get circled too badly, though. Nice. Belgrade. Anything here? Extra specialist? No, not really. You guys keep those guys in place. You go down there. Mostar? Do whatever you have to. Overall, not too bad. We will be running out of guns very soon, which is a very bad thing. Let's save slightly more guns for now. Smugs? Oh, yeah, we're definitely pushing hard. Oh, this is nice. Hey, Sylvania's gone. Nice. They don't remember asking Bulgaria for troop access, but whatever. Trias would be so good, too. Now, how are they still not capitulate that group? It makes literally no sense. That's just a cutoff. Great. The goal really is to finish off the Illyrian state in the Balkans, and then push into the Russian Empire fully with both armies. Yeah, they've pretty much given up at this point. Seriously, bro. They'll get there, so. Not super worried about it. We'll get some guns, too, by the time those guys... Oh, there you go. We have to capitulate. Yeah, 7,000 guns. Pretty good. Very awesome. Alright. Well, we won here. Alright. Other than that, I'm just going to... I'll take all of it. We don't deserve that one, but whatever. We'll take that one, too. I don't care. Do we deserve all this stuff? Probably not, honestly. That's alright. No more arm naval XP. Am I ever going to use this stuff? Probably never, but it's okay. That's heavy hole. Anti air. Nice. Alright, so that's case. So you guys go over here. And at this point, I'm going to convert you to go this way. Secondary general, just in case. Um, you guys can fish that area up. That's fine. Don't really care. That area is probably honestly god awful to fight in. Anyways, you're not too bad, but I'm going to throw you there with the cavalry. There you go. Good luck. Oh, you got some non-aggression pact. What? Fate of Malta. Uh, Malta has been brought under our leadership and troops occupy the island. We must know what to do with it. I think at that point that's just fine to do that one. Fate of Austria. Austria has been forced to capitulate. Our troops are patrolling the streets. 
of the end of prevent of a rebellion or anything that could cause further instability. However, some proposed that creating a local Austrian government would be uh, more helpful. Uh, more helpful. Return to Romanian lands. The Ukrainian government has been discussing what to do with the Romanian lands we currently occupy, which lands we have no rightful claim to. Which we should we return them to them? A bit of Austria? You know what? I don't mind liberating them. That's fine. Because I want to get the thing about Hungary as well. Or maybe not. Fine. Oh, wait, what? Isn't that a core? Uh, I guess I wasn't a core bar. That's fine. Whatever. Now get hungry. Trentino. Hungarian nation has been completely defeated. Our forces are policing the streets of Budapest and the partisans are being detained all across the countryside, but should this state of affairs remain permanent? What should you do with Hungarian lands? Minimal Hungarian state? Let's throw greater Hungary. Oh, that's an ugly Hungary. Oh, we had this too. Fate of Trentino. Taking control of the former Austrian territory of Trentino, we must decide what to do with it. Give it to Italians? No, give it to Austrians. As long as it's core, I don't care. Nice. Um, give half of there. Alright, there too. Nice. St. Petersburg. Everyone light tanks? Sure, why not? Are we really going to use these guys a whole bunch? Honestly, probably not. More liability? Sure, why not? Um, these are light tanks, so. Prove automatic cannon. Good balance between these two. One man turret, three man turret, two man turret. More breakthroughs, good. Radio's good. Special modules, what's ammo storage? Secondary turret. Um, you have more armor. More breakthrough. Uh, which one is this one? Way more breakthrough, which is pretty darn nice. There's reliability quite a bit, though. Which, actually, with this one, I think I'll be okay with that. Uh. Well, this design's okay. It's not great. Go back to gasoline, and that's okay to do there. There you go. It's not terrible. Yeah, I mean, it costs way too much to use these things nowadays. Not really worth it in my opinion, but whatever. Go to Galicia. After a campaign across Galicia, we have managed to shatter the people or Galician defenses. The valve is now in our hands. We must decide what the future Galicia is. Assimilate the into Ukrainian territory. Oh heck, why would, we, why would we not choose that? Is that actually Korvars? Nice. Oh, hello. Wait, what is this? Bulgar Khanate. What? Alright then. Well, there goes a Khanate. Yeah, I would love. Oh, hello. What happened here? Oh. Okay then. Um. Watch Republic, maybe? Who's in this group? Imre Nagy and you're and Friedrich Adler. Oh, hello. Do we actually get to Moscow already? Yeah, we've already made it to Moscow. Go figure. Sounds good to me. Well, this is definitely god awful mess around here. <clears throat> Direction still, still moving out, which is impressive. Afghanistan has given up some. Ter oh, the Barazak is Barazak Barak Zai. This guy's looking pretty good too. So, ooh, these guys are encircled. We'll see how we'll divide it up. Maybe I'll just take all the European Russia. I'm gonna say screw the, the Germans. I was gonna say screw the Germans eventually anyway. So, Attack is fine with us. Uh, electrician assault. Sure, why not? Yep. Alrighty. Alrighty, 
pretty tidy. Not bad so far. Let's see how much we have there, but whatever. I still build up some more millies. We're definitely going to need more millies. 100% is good. 100% uh, is pretty good. We got a gun. Oh, we got a lot of guns. Holy crap, 123,000? Nice. I got Sarts in too. So St. Petersburg has fallen. Sarts has almost fallen, or it has fallen to us. Moscow's fallen to us. They don't have Vladivostok. Not bad. I mean, really, not bad at all. Good head intelligence. Probably might as well. That would be a smart thing to do. Get them off in the caucuses? We're trying to. We're attempting to. Oh, that's not good. Go there, maybe. Can you go that direction? Maybe, maybe not. And you guys just kind of hanging out, getting ready just in case these guys want to go to war with us? Alright. I'll go to war with these guys. That too could also work. And the two front war of the Germans. Yeah? Because why not? Mal Mal, okay. Anti tank just in case. Get some gas. Anti air, 41. Nice. Because you guys actually don't have support at the area. That'd be pretty costly. You guys are doing okay. It's only 18 count with, unfortunately, but whatever. Logistics, yeah, that'd be good. 16 combo width, eh. It's fine. A good expression, though. What does this guy have? Entrenchment? No one cares about entrenchment. Speed, at least. Oh, hello. It's not good. Yeah. I am so surprised how well we're doing. Then again, I mean, three front wars are pretty, pretty, pretty difficult to probably to do, to conduct at the very least. Ah, Catherine Berg is there. Okay. Okay. Oh, it looks like, do these guys get pushed back at all? They might have, I can't tell sometimes, man, at this point. We definitely cut these guys off, which is awesome. Ostrakhan, Ostrakhan. Go ahead and do this one to you, might as well. Good. Nice. Alright. So where are you at? And that's the only place we can put them. Holy cow! Well, hopefully we can see what they've got available around here. So all I gotta do is do that, cut them off, and then do that. And they are about to be cut off. And there they go. The way just Asian is gone. It's good. Nice. You guys can take him. Take Ostrakhan and get the supply base. Nice. There you go. That's what we like to see. Very good. Very good. Very good. That'll definitely help with the, the entire front, actually. Suppression. 
Resistance is slowly going up, but it is stabilizing in some places here and there. Actually, how much support equipment do we have? 6,100. Do we really have enough for that? Or 66,000. Oh, it only costs us 200. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, not bad, not bad. Ooh. Oh. Created a column in authority. Have I ever seen that? Maybe not. Sounds kind of cool. Two more tanks? Nice. Keep going, guys. Keep Hello. Um, Transmure, are you... I guys have manpower. You guys have what? They have, like, 50 guns left. Oh, a little bit of lag. Ah. And now they're out of guns. So any damage we do to them, they cannot recover from. We should probably keep an eye on our manpower as well. We're no longer mobilizing, which does kind of suck, but, you know, whatever. It does bank your government as well. Our right, supplies. It's going to be pretty darn bad. There's a supply base over there, over here. Actually, it's not too bad yet. Up north, it's going to be pretty god awful. So I probably want to put a supply base, maybe. Man, we got to go real deep into Russia. Like, ultra deep. Like, thick deep. Way too thick to be down here deep. And fight Azerbaijan, that sucks too. But it's pretty darn green, but... You know, I might just finish the rest of this one off screen just because it's going to take a while, but I think we'll get there. So, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As then, we'll take out the Reichspack. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 monarcho-socialist rest of your day.